Hello everyone! Happy sh uh, yeah, Shinigami Sunday! My bad, I almost forgot which day this is for. <laughs> My name is Rockstox and welcome back to another episode of Bleach Brave Souls. I'm so excited to show you guys which characters I have. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at that! I have a Yachu! I got her from the special party summons that's going on at the moment. Actually, I think the day this goes up will be the last day for that. But yeah, I got her. I got my first Yachu and she's adorable and she's perfect and she's sweet and she's so cute and I haven't actually used her yet, but I'm already obsessed with her. Also, I have two Wonderwise now. The one on the right here, he is the new one. And I still have not used either of them. So I'm very excited to use all three of them at some point. But oh, look at my children. They're adorable. <laughs> but anyways, let us get back into the story. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Okay, we have two stories and four levels with two extreme boss battles at the end. This should be fun. Huh? Oh. How long are you going to lie there? Sabimaru. Lazy scumbag. We haven't seen each other in all this time. And that's the kind of greeting I get from you? Your manners certainly do leave something to be desired. I'm recovered and ready to fight again. It's time you did your part. Now get out of that bed and get healed so we can fight again. I want to take on that Zangetsu one more time. You idiot. You must have been brain damaged in that battle. He's no longer the one I must fight. He's not? Well then, who is it? Who will you fight now? I know that's what Zombie Maru is supposed to look like, but I keep thinking of the Zompokto arc Zombie Maru. Well, monkey and snake. So, yeah. Anyways, it's not over yet. That makes number 52. Ichigo is making steady progress, but still, I just can't, can't seem to shake this uneasy feeling I have. I'm sensing something out there, something ominous approaching this place. Gee, I wonder what that could be. I was wondering what you could be doing hold up in this place. So you're hiding out here and secretly training for Bankai, are you? Renji? Looks like fun to me. Let me train along with you. But the fact is, I'm not here for any special reason. It's just we're out of time now, so I needed some place where I could concentrate and train in peace. Just like you. What do you mean we're out of time? What the hell are you talking about? Well, alright, I guess I can at least tell you this that much. It's about Rukia's execution. They've moved the time forward. Huh? And though I hate to admit it, the fact is, at my current level, I'm not quite good enough to save Rukia. That's why I came here, to train. Don't worry about me. I don't have any intention of getting in the way of your Bankai training. In fact, I'm close to achieving the Bankai release myself. I've already mastered manifesting it. So if that's okay with you, I'm just gonna do my own thing here. No way. There's no way he can reach Bankai that quickly. What, are you just gonna give up on me then? Come on, Yorichi, you're the one who started me on this training program. It was your idea, so you can't be the first one to quit on it. Ichigo, no. What if tomorrow comes and you still can't achieve Bankai? We can't waste time worrying about what ifs. Failure is no longer an op option. If they have changed the deadline to tomorrow, 
then the only option there is, is to finish training today. Okay, my hair is attacking my face. I will be back in a second after I fix this. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what's up with my hair. I fix it before I start recording, but then as soon as I hit record, it suddenly wants to get all up in my nose and strangle me, and it's, it's so annoying. Anyways, Chapter 82, Achieving Bankai. Ichigo has yet to achieve the Bankai release. Renji, however, has managed to complete his Bankai training, so he rushes off to save Rukia. Tell me the truth, Yorichi. What do you think? Do you still think he's going to be able to do this? Because we're out of time. Can you really reach Bankai today? Renji, do you remember the first time when you were a child that you stood up and walked on your own? What? Of course not. No one remembers anything that early. If you don't remember doing it, and yet you did it, it means that you weren't conscious of it at the time. So how did you know how to do it? The answer is all humans are born already knowing how to stand up. Just as birds are born knowing how to fly. No, they are not. Okay? They not. They need to learn this. Trust me, I actually have a zoology degree. They, they don't automatically know how to fly. They need to learn. And funny enough, not all birds are kicked out of the nest. Some bird parents are good bird parents and actually take their kids out for flight training. Watch birds once in a while, you'll see it. It's quite fascinating. Anyways, <laughs> back to Bleach. And fish are born already knowing how to swim. It's because of what we call instinct. All living creatures use instinct to obtain their natural powers when the time comes that they need them. That's, when, that's what Ichigo's face reminds me of. I think he knows instinctively somewhere deep down inside that he has the power. And that is why I still believe that he will be the one to reach Bankai. Let's go Ichigo, one more time now. And let me be clear, just because the hours draw near, I don't intend to go easy on you. No, of course you won't. And that's because I'm not gonna give you the chance to go easy on me. Oh jeez, I have it on auto. <laughs> I have that for, um, oh jeez. I have it on auto for when I'm doing the training sessions so I can eat and stuff while I just get to items for leveling up my characters. <laughs> but yeah, I brought out Renji because I thought we were going to be on our way to save Rukia. But I guess not. Hey! I was talking! <laughs> I'm not going to get over Zangetsu's echoey fall down and collapse sound. I know there's a better way of saying that. I don't know what it is right now. Well then, I guess I'll be going. Alright. Hold on, Rukia. I'm coming to save you. Such a dedicated not-boyfriend. Jeez. Zombie Maru gets really close in that. Have I actually used this Rangie before? I think I have. Pretty sure I have. Chapter 83. The e this execute. No oh boy. This execution cannot be allowed. There's. N There's not long before Rukia's execution. Those trying to save her continue to cut a path through the Shinigami, barring the way through the Serete. Oh gosh. The whole cord for my headset just fell off the side. I hope that doesn't mess up the sound. No! Please stop! Lieutenant! Please put away your sword! Just a little farther. Just a little while longer now. And I'll be there, Rukia. To save you. I will never let them execute you. Rukia! <laughs> Where is everyone? Seriously, it, 
it feels like there should be more people around here. Oh, we're literally on our way there. That is cool. Yeah, I have used this Renji before. I used him one of the side quest things. I'm trying to figure out what happens when I hit spacebar. Oh! It's not a story? Chapter 84, Sprinting Dog. As Renji rushes ahead to save Rukia, he remembers the past they shared together. Oh, Okay, no status changes. Oh, straight into it. Okay, sure. <laughs> nice. Come on. I don't want to get too close to anyone in case they burn me or something. Okay, we should be able to get through it like that. Best Bankai ever. Yep! I definitely use this one. This is the one that keeps running. I don't know why. All of my other characters will stand still. It is just this one Renji that insists on running. Oh wow, we got two Chad. Nice! <laughs> Is it just me or this has this gone really fast today? Chapter 85, The Duel with Byakuya. Renji is stopped in his tracks by a paralyzing spiritual pressure. After which, Byakuya appears. Renji tells Byakuya that he is going to rescue Rukia. How will Rukia, uh, Rukia? How will Byakuya respond? With violence, that is how he will respond. I was afraid. All the while, I was just pretending to chase you around, just pretending to wait for my opportunity. But the truth is, I was only ever a single step behind you. I was just... I was just afraid. Captain Kuchki. Where are you going, Renji? I'm going to save Rukia. No. I must. I assume that you're refusing to let me pass. I don't intend to repeat myself. Of course you don't. Did I one-shot every... Oh, cool. We one-shot everyone on the level. Ah, close enough. There were a lot of them standing there. Before I was promoted to be your lieutenant. Long before I even joined the 13 court guard squads. I was obsessed with one thing. Rukia. The one man that I wanted to surpass. That man is you, Captain Kuchki. Because of Rukia. Does this mean that you... And I will surpass you, Captain Kuchki. Bankai! Heck yeah! Heyo, Zombie Maru! I mean, we have to. Bankai! Heyo, Zombie Maru! I see. Its power, its power is truly at the level of Bankai. I think it's time to bring down the curtain on the struggle between us, Byakuya Kuchigi. Very well. Where are you running to? Oh. That hair, though. Distractions, distractions. Chapter 86, Renji's Vow. Oh wow, we're just fighting against Byakuya here. 
Renji finally has the opportunity to bear his fangs against Byakuya, the man he swore to surpass. However, Byakuya demonstrates to him his inexperience in wielding a Bankai and the difference in power between them. I kinda wanna let him do his thing. Renji, you are not ready to use your Bankai in battle. The weakness of Bankai lies in its sheer size and the overwhelming power it releases. It goes far beyond the abilities of any normal weapon. It is for that reason that it is said one must train for 10 years after learning Bankai in order con to control it completely. I don't need your lectures. I already knew all of that when I came here in the first place. Put down your sword and you may yet live. Unless you still have some hopeless idea about winning. In case you've forgotten, or perhaps it didn't occur to you, I'll remind you, Renji, that I too have Bankai. Huh? Bankai. Shirei, Zenbon Zakura, Kageyoshi. Sorry, Renji. I want him to do his move. Come on, dude. Come on. Ah, uh, he's not gonna do it, is he? Ah, uh, fine. It's not over. Do not move. You will only hasten your death. It's not over. I can still fight. Didn't you hear me? I told you not to move. You must have noticed by now that your Bankai is gone. When one's Bankai disappears without the permission of its master, it means that the master's time of death draws near. Soon enough now, you will begin to fade away. So, I shall ask you this one more time. We at long last give up this foolish dream of yours of saving Rukia. You know the answer to that. Hmm. Because I swore. I swore that I'd save her. You swore this? You swore it to whom? No one. I just swore it. I just swore it. To myself. It's for your own good and for hers too. It's a shame, but well, it's kind of complicated. But it's always a lot easier to let something fall apart than it is to try to hold it together. Damn it. Congratulations. Very admirable. That time, your fang definitely reached me. Renji. Impossible. Until just now when it faded. It was so powerful I couldn't tell whose spiritual pressure that was. It was Renji. Renji, why? Why'd you do it? Renji. Oh, now you stand still! I'm convinced he heard me and that's why he stood still that time. Awesome! Wow, these are long. Actually, not really. It's only four things in a story. But that is for next week! That was fun! Oh, look at Renji and my two babies! Oh. I, I just want to grab all of them and hug them. I use all of them. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for this week's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to like this video, leave me a comment, and... I I just... I'm curious. As a character, who do you prefer more? Byakuya or Renji? Obviously, I'm Team Renji. Not just because of the cool hair and the awesome Bankai. Personality-wise, it is full Renji, because Renji does not try to hide his inner menace. 
Byakuyama was that way too well. If he just indulged in his inner anger a little, I would absolutely favor Byakuya over Renji. But no, he's all strict and boring like. <laughs> but who do you guys prefer? Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that is it for this episode. If you want to see the new episode as soon as it comes out, be sure to hit subscribe and book the bell. I'm posting new main story videos like this every Shinigami Sunday and side quest stuff every Taicho Tuesday. So yeah, that is it for this episode. I'm not going to ramble too much in the outro. Until the next episode, you just keep rocking.